Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I last made any videos and the reason being is over the month of August, I was busy with deadlines, projects, and we even just shifted to a new apartment, which today's video is going to be about. Now, if you have been following my Instagram stories, over the last week, we shifted to a two bedroom apartment here in Calgary. Our lease was actually ending and we decided to shift to a bigger apartment. So it's best to move to a two bedroom apartment when the lease is ending rather than moving in later and then breaking the lease, which also has a lot of consequences. So we didn't want to do that and we just wanted to move in as soon as our lease ended. Now, over the month of August, I have looked into 60 to 70 places online and in person we've looked over 10 places there were a lot of problems with the apartment it wasn't as easy as how we found out our first apartment either the square footage of the apartment was small or the rent was a lot and it didn't fit our budget and finally we found this apartment which we liked and the square footage of this area is 960, which is really big for the two of us. And it's also perfect if our families are coming in, there are plenty of space. I did a short home tour while we were moving in to this apartment. So when you enter the apartment, on the right hand side, you will see a storeroom. It is closed because there was no light bulb at that time. So we couldn't really film inside it, but it's a really big storeroom and that's what initially attracted us about this place is because it has a lot of storerooms which i'll be showing you as we go forward and on the left hand side you will see a coat room where you can hang coats and it's a small storage room for coats and shoes when you're moving forward you will see the kitchen now the kitchen is not as big as our previous apartment and the thing which I liked about our previous apartment is that we had a huge kitchen. If you haven't seen my apartment tour of our previous apartment, link is on the screen. Do make sure to check that out. And that kitchen was my favorite thing about that apartment because it was so spacious. I could cook in various places, store a lot of different things. Even though this kitchen is slightly smaller than the previous kitchen, it still works. It has a huge fridge and I can still get the work done. Moving on, we come to the living room and the living room is as big as our previous living room. And this is also the place I am vlogging from today. As you can see behind me that we, I just have the bookcase. Uh, we haven't really set up the house yet. The house is still in a mess. We just moved in on August 31st and we're still unpacking and taking it slow but we do have plans to do some home improvements add a few different furnitures over time and i do plan on taking you guys when we go shopping to show you what we have decided and how we are going to turn our living room and other rooms around but this living room is really spacious and we are living in the ground floor so that means that we get plenty of sunlight and there's also a balcony. So if you wanted to go outside for fresh air, we can easily do that. And there is a whole view outside of the building and you can even see the roads. If you go down the small corridor, you're going to come across two rooms. So on the left, there is another storeroom. Now this storeroom is as small as our previous one bedroom storeroom. And we can again store things over there as well. It works. And the, like I said, the good thing about this apartment is it has a lot of storerooms. So we have a lot of storage space. And on the right hand side is the smaller bedroom. It's also perfect for two people. We're thinking of putting in a double mattress and maybe just turning it into a guest room. It also has a small closet. So if there is anyone who is planning to stay over at our place in the future, they will have their own room with their own closet and it will not be awkward. Then we come to the bathroom and the bathroom is nice. It's spacious. It's perfect. It has a lot of lightings and I really like the lightings in the bathroom. It kind of gives off the hotel vibe 
to me and it's really nice and straight up front you can see another storage space and you can't really have too many storage space. It's always good to have a lot of them so that you can store all the things which are not necessary. Then we move on to the master bedroom and the master bedroom is huge. It's really huge for the two of us and right now you are seeing clothes over there but we did fix the bedroom and we fixed it properly. We just have the bed and we just have a mirror in it. We put the clothes in the closet and it's a walk-in closet, which is my favorite part of the bedroom, that it has a walk-in closet so I can actually have a nice closet where I can store things. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I am not going to mess this up and keep it dirty. Rather, I'll be more organized in separating our clothes and maintaining the closet. That was our home tour. Now let's talk about the rent. The rent is $1,190, so that's $1,190. And we did also pay for underground parking. So there was an option to pay for surface parking or underground parking. Surface parking was $40 extra and underground parking was $60 extra. So we decided that we wanted to go for underground parking because winter is coming. And if you're living in Canada or if you've seen my videos last year, you know how cold it gets and all the snow and ice gets stuck on the car. So if your car is outside, you will have to clean the car in a daily basis. And it can take 20 to 30 minutes of your time, especially when you're trying to go to the work in the morning. You have to wake up even earlier, clean your car. It's a lot of hassle. But if you have underground parking, none of the snow and ice falls on your car. We also shifted to a nearby area. So the area is not too far from our previous apartment. We decided to stay in the south because we really love the south. And right now we are staying in the southeast. But if you, it's like we're in the middle of southeast and southwest. So if you go to the other end of the road or the other side of the road, you can see southwest, while as on this side it's southeast. So you could say that we are in between southeast and southwest, but as for the location, we are right now in southeast. And another reason why we decided to choose this apartment apart from the square footage matching and the budget matching with our budget is because the security deposit is surprisingly really low. We only had to pay about $250 and all the other apartments that I looked in, they charged a ridiculous amount of security deposit. Many of them are charging as much as your rent so if it's 1200 they're charging you 1200 and they are also corporations so it's crazy that they're charging so much and it doesn't make sense when we saw the security deposit was low and the square footage matched with our preference and there were a lot of storage space and we really liked this apartment we decided to just do it on that day we liked the apartment so we decided to put in the security deposit on that day and we decided to do all the formalities and the paperwork and i'm so grateful that we did find this and it was perfect for us we also like how the building is managed so the property manager she sits inside the building from nine to five every day other than sundays so if there are any problems in the apartment or the building in general you can just go up to her and they are available immediately to solve your problem so our previous apartment did not have that. We would at least have to wait a day or two, which wasn't bad, but I guess the response time on this apartment is faster, which made us also want to move in to this apartment. It has more security and we really liked the overall look of the apartment. I got a lot of questions on Instagram while we were moving about how much did we pay to the movers and did we even hire movers or how did we move? Now in Canada, it's really expensive if you hire movers. Uh, they charge around $800 to $1,000, which is super, super expensive. It's not like back home where you can get everything done in a small amount of price. So we decided to take matters on our own hand and do everything by ourselves. So Kazi actually hired a 10-fit U-Haul truck 
from their U-Haul website. I'll link them in the description. So if you want to check them out, you can check that out as well. And this is not paid promotion. I am just letting you guys know so that if you wanted to use a U-Haul truck in the future, it can be helpful for you. And how it works is that he had to pay $20 fixed. And then after that, it was 0.75 cents per kilometer. And you also have to fill in the gas back to what you were initially given. So let's say if you were given with half filled tank, then you have to fill it to that level when you're giving the truck back to U-Haul. And we also decided to take insurance because the truck was super huge. And as you saw my stories, I'll link some pictures in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. It looked really scary and Kazi decided that insurance would be better. It's optional, it was $15, but if you have insurance, so in case if there are any damages to the truck, you are not liable because you paid for the insurance. And we did move in under, it was around $60, so we did everything in under $100. Um, if you saw my last story of us moving out, we had to give the previous apartment back in a clean condition. So that means that you have to give it the way it was given to you. So we came in on that day in the morning, Kazi and I, and we cleaned the apartment. So we cleaned the kitchen, the bathroom, vacuumed the house, made it look all nice and pretty so that we get our security deposit back. and. We are so happy that we didn't hire any cleaning service because cleaning service takes $300. And again, that is super expensive. So we decided to do it by ourselves, manual labor. And the corporation liked everything. They didn't have a problem with our cleaning at all. So we are hoping to get back maximum of our deposit. And that's our moving story still settling in. It's not even a week that we came to this apartment, but really liking the apartment so far. And once we have the house set up, I will do another apartment tour to show you how it looks like after we have uh, moved in. So maybe in a couple months or so, I will do another video. If you have any questions for me, don't forget to leave them down below and I'll answer them. If you've liked my video today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and for having the patience. I promise I will be making more frequent videos from now on. So stay tuned for my next video. Till then, bye.